when it comes to content creators on TikTok that are absolutely rinsing it on the creativity program beta, making anywhere from multiple five figures, six figures, all the way up to the millions, building empires, there's one secret tool that they don't want you to know about. And this tool allows you to take long form videos and chop them up into clips. These clips can then be uploaded onto TikTok, YouTube, Facebook Reels, Instagram, allowing you to create multiple tens of videos in some cases in a matter of minutes. The tool is called Opus Clip. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can go about taking long form videos and chopping them up into short form content that you can then upload to multiple platforms, not just TikTok. You can take the same video and upload it onto other platforms as well. Now, I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to go about doing this within Opus Clip. The beauty of this tool is you can actually trial it out completely free of charge and you do actually get an end product that you can use and upload on social media while you're still using the free trial so it's not like a free trial where you can't export or you can't do anything with it i'm going to walk you through this step by step if you are going to follow along there is a link in the description as well and that'll take you straight to the website if you find value by the end of this video do make sure that you drop a like and do subscribe if this is the type of content that you are interested in we talk about TikTok growth monetization and strategy on this channel and if that sounds good to you be sure to smash that subscribe button so the tool that we're talking about is called opus clip and again if you want to follow along there is a link in the description which is going to bring you directly onto this page full disclosure as well it is an affiliate link which supports this channel if you do click onto that costing you nothing extra so appreciate everyone who does go ahead and click that link but either way, um, this is your page that you'll be landing on. As you can see, um, the slogan there, one long video, 10 viral clips. Um, that is relative to the video. It can be many more video clips than 10, as you will see with my example. You can sign in, it's completely free to sign up. Um, you've got an option to view the pricing. Um, you can see customer stories on those different tabs there. There's also a learning center for you to make the most out of the tool. But in the interest of keeping this video as short as possible, we will not explore any of those. Now, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to maybe take a deeper dive in a future video and go through those different options. For now, we're gonna focus on signing up. So obviously you click the sign up button if you haven't already signed up. I have, so what happens for me when I click sign up is it takes me onto my page. I am using the free subscription as well. So you guys can see exactly what you will get with the free subscription, which I believe um, in my opinion is pretty generous. Um, so you get one hour, 30 minutes worth of credits um, or minutes rather. So that's how much video time you'd be able to chop um, at length at maximum with the free subscription. Obviously with the paid one, you can do a whole lot more than that. All you do is you find the video that you are wanting to chop um, and then you drop the link onto here where it's got get clips in one click. Now it does also let you know on there what platforms are supported. YouTube, Google Drive, Zoom, Video, Rumble, etc., StreamYard, so you know what platforms are supported for you to drop the link. So I'm gonna copy my video link in there, paste it. And from here, um, as you can see, it's got the video. So this is one of my longer videos. It's one hour, four minutes long. And what we're looking at here is credit usage. So it's telling me how much credit I've, I'll be using with this video or how much it's gonna need um, relative to what I've got left on there. Now I did have an hour and 30 minutes. Um, I've actually gone through and chopped this video up to save you guys the time. So shortly after I walk you through what's on this screen, I'm gonna show you what the results are after the video has been chopped up, which is why it's saying I've only got 26 minutes left on my account. But on yours, you'll probably see more time. You'll probably see an hour and 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, ultimately it shows you here how many, how much is going to be used by the video that you are uploading. What we've got on here is the bit further down is the processing time frame. So it lets you know um, the length of your video here and it gives you an opportunity to start the chopping process anywhere within that video. So say for example, you've got a long intro or something that you're not interested in chopping up. You can start your timer 
um, further done the further into the video um, equally if you've got like a long outro at the end which you don't want to chop up into short content um, you can do the same on there as well so you can reduce the video as you see fit based on where you want the chopping to begin below that you've got preferred clip length which is essentially how long do you want the short clips to be you can either allow the tool to automatically choose for you based on its analysis or you can choose whether you want 30 second clips 30 to 60 seconds 60 to 90 seconds um, 90 seconds to three minutes as well um, you can choose multiple lengths as you can see um, if you choose 30 seconds or below it's not necessarily going to be 30 seconds you may get 10 seconds 12 seconds um, you may get 15 seconds etc same here as well so what the tool does essentially it analyzes what you're saying in the video and it does its best to get the full context of what you're saying out within that time frame so it doesn't cut you mid-sentence for example um, it, if you are talking about a certain topic it'll try and start at the beginning of your statement and stop at the end of that statement within these parameters so within the time frame that you've allowed it to do which is why it doesn't give you an exact time it's always going to say between such and such time or shorter than such and such time below that you've got an option as well which is completely optional i don't tend to use it but if you have got specific keywords that you want the tool to listen out for and focus chopping on for example if you want it to focus on talking about the creativity program beta on a video with a wide variety of topics but you wanted to just find the areas where you're talking about the creativity program beta that's where you can put those keywords in as well like many tools it can be as complex as you make it it can be as simple as you make it there's a lot you can do with this tool but for the most part at a high level what you want to focus on is just choosing how long you want the clips to be if you are focusing more on the creativity program beta obviously you want it to be minimum 60 seconds maximum 90 seconds whereas if you're me i'm not too focused on the creativity program beta in this particular example i'm more focused on youtube shorts which is why i'm saying 30 seconds or less whereas if i was doing this for tiktok then i'd be looking at 60 seconds and over if i wanted to focus on the beta you're then going to click on get clips in one click from there the tool is going to analyze your video and it's going to let you know how long roughly it thinks the whole clipping process is going to take for reference my video is an hour and four minutes long and for me it took 14 minutes to chop all of that up into shorter videos and i'm going to show you here in just a second what that looks like and how many clips i was able to get out of that based on my instruction of asking for clips that are 30 seconds or less. Uh, by the way, if you are finding value in this video, hit the like button, it does help us out massively. Um, and do also smash the subscribe button if you wanna see more content like this from us. This was my result. Out of that one hour, three minutes video, I managed to get 28 different videos out of that and that is literally within a space of 14 minutes that quickly i've now got shorts that i can upload onto youtube and get scheduled not only that there's a bunch of more interesting things that you're gonna like as well so on top of that it's not only chopped the videos up but it also analyzed each section that it's chopped up and it gives you a description of what the ai thinks on that particular clip and it's also got a score um, of basically whether that video is likely to go viral or not so the likelihood that this video will go viral on short tiktok reels etc and it's giving it a 99 score i believe it's out of 100 I'm not entirely sure but in this video for example it's telling me that the video effectively grabs the audience's attention with its hook flows logically from introduction to conclusion and it provides valuable advice and strategies for success on TikTok, making a personal connection with viewers. So some really good feedback there. So it's kind of like you've got your own AI coach based on these clips. Obviously, disclaimer, this is not a guarantee that this will go viral. This is just the AI telling you what it thinks. What you'll also see is how long that specific clip is. And you'll notice that all the different clips have different lengths, 15 seconds, 26 seconds, um, 18 seconds because again as i mentioned at the beginning the ai finds full statements and tries its best to not cut you off mid-sentence which is why your video clips are always going to be different in terms of length so 
yeah this one sounds pretty good i'm not going to go through all of them i'm just going to analyze and read a few this one here the video has an attention grabbing hook that creates a sense of urgency and importance yeah that sounds good um, and obviously the ones that are further up are the ones that have the best score but the further down you go the lower the score um, so if you go further if you go back up you've obviously got a title for each video as well which is really really helpful this gives you an idea of what you should title your tiktok creativity program beta video or your short or your reel and there are some other parameters that you can work with here as well as you can see you've got you've already got your ai text that's already been put on there for you as well you've already got an option to schedule now this is a paid feature so if i click on schedule it's giving you an option there of selecting from the paid options it does give free as well on there um, but it says there's going to be a watermark obviously which you know we don't want uh, you've also got an option to download each clip which is what i'm going to be doing with this particular video so i can upload them as youtube shorts and you've got an option to edit each clip as well so say the ai has chopped up the content you've got the videos but you're not entirely happy with some of the results you can go into each one and you can edit that particular clip as well like for example i'm going to preview this particular one here and i'm going to click into edit so you can see what options are available so okay uh, saying i mean i'm perfectly happy with that but say that you weren't happy and you wanted to edit some of that video so what you can do is click on to edit and once you do that these are the options that you've got this is the caption that's the first thing that you'll see so you can edit the caption and um, you can see a timeline style editing preview here as well where you can edit it much as you would um, on a normal video editor and also you can edit a number of other parameters you can edit the design you can edit your layout settings here you can edit you want b-roll to go in personally i don't want the auto b-roll feature i've tried it before and it doesn't always come up with some good b-roll that it adds on but what it does for those interested it automatically finds free b-roll and adds it into the video to align with what you're saying not in too impressed with that feature but you can try it out as well and see if it's something that you're happy with auto emojis perfectly happy with that what that means is along with your text you're also going to get emojis next to the text just makes things a bit more fluid a bit more dynamic and a bit more visual so i'm perfectly happy with that i'm going to leave it switched on auto intro caption an optional one to you as well this is where it can it can put um a title so if a person is looking through your feed for example and trying to find what videos of yours they should watch this is what's going to grab their attention before they actually click onto the video again that's pretty good and i'm perfectly happy to switch that on change that as well um you can update the video title on there you can delete that one and maybe add a more attention grabbing one if you wish um and you can work with your captions here as well um so these are the different options you can do them as one line um, or you can do them as three lines. I'm perfectly happy with three lines. Um, so I'm going to leave that as it is. Um, caption position. Do you want them to be on top? Do you want them to be in the middle? Or do you want them to be at the bottom or auto? Um, in this case, middle tends to work best. So I'm going to say middle. Um, and I'm going to leave everything else as it is. Um, caption transition. So as you can see, you can go pretty deep with some of these adjustments here. I'm not going to change too much on this one apart from what i've just done um, and then i'm going to click on save and compile allow it to save the changes that i've made there um, and just wait for it to apply those changes as you can see here it's giving me three minutes for the changes to be applied and from there i can go back and see those changes download the videos and from there it's literally that's it the video is ready to be uploaded onto your favorite social media And it is literally that simple. Honestly, feel almost guilty using this. It shouldn't be this easy to create content. Now that you've watched this video, you might be interested in learning more about the creativity program beta, the rules, what it is exactly, what different things mean within the beta. The video that's currently on the screen is where I walk you through in detail all the different aspects of the creativity program beta. I'll see you in there.